Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Subsistence Land. Uh, I don't think we're expecting visitors today. We've already had our uh, revenge. But I did notice something over this way. Uh, up on the hill, there is a crate that I am greatly interested in. Not you, rabbit. There's a rabbit over there. I'm not interested in right over... So, wait a minute. Where did you go, rabbit? There was a rabbit. There he is! There he is, sneaking. Look, he's sneaking behind that bush over there. All right, let's go and uh, let's get this crate. Um, it might have scrap in it. That's why I'm interested. No scrap. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's do a little uh, basic looting. Oh, there's some scrap right there. Let's do a little bit of basic looting and um, talk about what we want to do today. Uh, just just to keep our, uh, our ducks in a row <laughs> so that we know exactly what it is that we want to do. Let's see if there's anything we can see from up here. Do, 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 do. I mean, there's a medicinal plant. Oh, by the way, I'm converting medicinal plants into biofuel right now. That's all in preparation for the next update because I've got so much stored um, that it's going to become, all of it's going to become much less valuable after the update. So I might as well convert it now. It's not that it's going to be, that the update's going to make things more difficult. It's just that if you've got certain materials stored, um, uh, well, let's go down here. If you've got certain materials stored, uh, they're not going to be worth as much, but those same materials will be easier to get, uh, <laughs> they'll be easier to get in the, uh, after the update. So it, it all balances out, but, uh, I've, it, you know, we've talked about that a little bit. I'm not, I'm, this is not the new update yet, by the way, I'm, I'm waiting. It's still an experimental. Uh, if anybody's wondering why I don't play the updates, I, I often don't, um, especially with subsistence, uh, especially, okay, oh, hey, look at you. Especially with a long-running series like this where, another scrap, very cool. I don't want to jeopardize the, 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 the series itself, right? Like, oh, oh, I haven't been eating. Oh, no, I forgot to, oh, this is bad. Bad news, bad news bears. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have to dig into our protein supply, protein bars. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And then maybe one more of you. All right. Our stamina is coming back. I, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I, I just started looting and I didn't do my, I didn't do my food uh, or anything like that. Well, now look at you. Hey, bud. Come on. Down the hill. It's easy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, so, as I say, we're doing a little... Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. So we're doing a little bit of looting. Oh, the experimental branch. Why don't I? Right, right, right. Uh, because, uh, for, for what I was saying, the, it's, uh, I, do, I don't like jeopardizing a long-running series like this. And if you ever read the notes on, uh, like, you know, that, that Cold Games puts out when he talks about experimental... Uh, he's like, back up your saves. Uh, you may, and, and if you do anything, you know, you may not be able to go back to the, uh, to your, you know, a non-experimental and, and let's say something really bad happens, uh, or something is incompatible and I have to go back to play the regular non-experimental for a while. Well, I can't do that <laughs> because I've already, uh, up the game is, it, it'll upgrade, but not downgrade to the older version. This is my understanding based on, uh, stuff in the comments. Hello, chicken. Run! Look at his little, little wings. Flippity flappity. <laughs> you can't fly, buddy. It's, I know, it's a sad thing about the chicken biology, but... Well, you probably could if you tried real hard. Uh, they can kind of, kind of fly. Sort of. It's not very, they're not very graceful flyers. Um, anyways. <laughs> sort of. They kind of, they kind of leap fly. <laughs> um... And I think it depends on the chicken, <laughs> quite heavily. Uh, be heavy being the, uh, the, the, the operative word. <laughs> um, okay, so that's, that's why. I just don't like taking the risk with, uh, with long-running series. Uh, uh, you'll, those who, but, but, oh no. <laughs> you did try, you're, you're running the experimental branch of uh, Medieval Dynasty right now. Yes. That's true. <laughs> because my patience only lasts I have only so much patience and also that's this the main the season two of medieval dynasty 
really is, uh, it was, it was basically coming to a close all on its own. Um, you know, we, we'd explored pretty much as much as we could. Um, I, I had played that series much longer than I thought I would. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, and then Oxbow came out and the cougar is really low. Look at how, look at how close the cougar is. That is amazing. Um, yeah, Oxbow came out, and then I'm like, oh, man, I really, I should just bite the bullet and, and at least take a look at it. And I figured, you know, and then I started really reading the release notes and the stuff that they had in the, uh, the, the release notes was really attractive, like the, the latest patches. And I went, okay, I'm going to take a chance. It's a new series. I'm not too worried about losing, like, you know, a, a, a jeopardizing a 600 episode. How many arrows do I have? a 600 plus episode uh series by you know trying out uh, an experimental branch in that particular case so because i'm going to be switching to the new oxbow map anyways so it was much less of a concern so there you go that's that explanation uh regardless what are we doing today in subsistence because that is the uh the case at hand well uh, funny you should ask that. You know what? I'm not even going to bother to come and get you. Or you. We're heading back to the base. Uh, I have, uh, we want to make a, a little bit of progress on our Operation Clad Part 2. <laughs> part, part 2. Um, uh, and making the BCU cracker. And uh, also, I need to start putting together materials for making an FOB. Uh, or and figure out where we want to put FOBs. That's going to be another. Wow, okay, another crate. That wasn't there before, I don't think. So this is kind of nice. All right, cool. Uh, we have to figure that out. Um, you know, and gather the materials together to make a, a an FOB. We got to do prep. We have to do uh, Operation Clad prep. It's a. Uh, it takes some preparation. Let's get back to the base and wash my hands before. Oh wow. Okay, this is really good. So how much scrap? Six scrap on that short little half part day run. That's not terrible. Oh, look at him go! He's skating! He needs little bunny skates. <laughs> okay, now. We need to repair the base too. The base is uh, in, in a dire need of uh, repairs. How are you guys doing? Eh, you've got plenty of food and stuff. And then we've got the plant beds are still... Wait a minute. You're not done yet. Oh, you're you're done though. We could do potatoes. Okay, let's put away stuff. Let's and oh, okay, you're reasonable. Um, let's put that away. Put away stuff. You know, and do we have any cooked meat? We do. We have two and one. Okay, let's do uh, one, two, three. That this will that this cooked meat will stack up and fill in these existing stacks. So we're not too worried about it. All right, put that away, and then you can go in there, and what else? Oh, a match. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Look at that, right there. Put a match there. Um, make another fuel brick, because uh, fiber is like, uh, fiber and, and um, medicinal plants are being heavily devalued uh, in, the, in the experimental release, so... Uh, you know, it'll, it's, it's, like I said, it's not, it's not that it's going to be more difficult to make fuel bricks. It's that the fiber itself is going to be worth less. It'll be easier to get. This is, uh, I just want to make that clear because, uh, I do understand the, the nature of the change. I'm just trying to prevent myself from getting stung by it a little bit because, because I'll tell you why, like all that fiber that I had, those multiple stacks and all the medicinal plants that I had, all those m multiple stacks that it th that was that rep represents an investment in time right so it takes time to gather three 100 stack like uh you know each one of these stacks of 100 medicinal plants and so i don't want to lose the time that it took to make that right so converting it to biofuel is the best way if, if that makes sense right uh no actually you go in here that's the logic, by the way, that I'm, that is my logic. Uh, it may not be the best logic, but it is what I have. Okay. Uh, you can go in here. Uh, I've got another fuel brick. We're going to top up the fire with that. 
<clears throat> you go into the bin. You go in here. Biofuel goes in here. Oh, we made a bunch of... Uh, uh, look at that. We got 25 fishing tackles. That's kind of sweet, actually. Okay. Weather outside is frightful. So uh, the, today is a good day to be inside. You know what? Get get back on your thing. You stay there. You need we need like uh like th th those straps. <laughs> we need straps. The the you know the the, the 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 tie downs. We need tie downs for that thing so that it doesn't keep leaping off the 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 thing. I'm basically not too concerned about that. Just so you know, uh, I just find it amusing that I have to go up there and jump on it every once in a while. It's it's no biggie to be fair. Okay. Now, what is the, what is the uh, what are the tasks? Oh, we're overflowing on you. Beautiful. Repair, repair, uh, electronic circuit board thingies because we need how many in total? No, not you. All right. We need six. We have those. We need five. Yes. We need five more uh, circuit boards. So let's make five more circuit boards. Let's do that. Okay. So that means that we're going to need electronics, uh, copper, and, and pearls. Uh, we've got half of you, uh, half of you, and half of one of... You know what? Yeah, just... There we go. Half of one of you. And then we need to make uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, ho, ho. can we make another one? Sure. There we go. We got a spare. We got one spare. Uh, right. Uh, you and you go in here. You go in there. Excellent. So that's going to be the, uh, that our, our, our circuit boards are going to be taken care of. And here, let me just grab all of this. Actually, let's come back to that because uh, we'll take another, we'll redo a reevaluation. Uh, the other thing we need to do is repairs. So let's grab the hammer. Uh, we're going to need uh, a bunch of nails. We're going to need a bunch of wood. Probably we're going to need boards. We're going to need um, uh, probably glass, not crystal, glass. Uh, are we going to need, let's just go with that for now. I'm pretty, no, not you. Two more of you. Wow. You could hear it outside. It's it's brutal. <clears throat> Whoa, ho, ho, winter. I do enjoy, actually, I do enjoy winter in this game. Okay. Repairs. How are you doing, Mr. Window? You get one hit with a hammer. You get multiple hits with a hammer. Wow, you were in serious trouble. Uh, and also, you need a bit of help, and you need a whack. How about no wax for you? Okay. Whack. Whack, whack. <laughs> um, I think you're good. What about the... Uh, oh, that's two hit points. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Oh, that's three hit points. I'm not worried about you either. The glass... Good, 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 good. So this buffer, this buffer with the glass being away from the outside wall seems to be working out well. Because we did get, like, direct, you saw that. We got, uh, there was, like, there was, you know, a direct hit with a grenade-tipped arrow on the outside wall. And these are undamaged. So th this whole split design is working exactly as expected. Now, let's take a look. You need, oh, what the hay, a couple... Yeah, you two. Six hit points. Not worried about that. But that is more of a problem. There we go. And whack a whack a. Oh, more wax. Everybody gets a whack. Two hit points. Okay, we're fine. Oof. Oof. Oh, how are we doing with our. Uh, I, they should all be done now. There we go. So, uh, that one is a spare. We're going to put the spare away in here. Now. Let's just do a review. Uh, do we have everything that we need? We have three. We're going to be making three BCU crackers. So we're looking for three more, three times the bases, right? Three times the base amounts, I should say. So three times 10 is 30. Three times six is 18. Three times. Okay, this one we don't. We need another 40 crystal. We still, we have to do a cave run to get those. And three times 30 is 90. 
So we have uh, all of the base materials to make base by base, not not base, but you know, like the lowest common, you know. We have all of the fundamental stuff that we need to bake it, except for we need 40 more crystal. Plus we need to basically have like 3000 power and 4000, what is my power at? You know, we could probably uh, turn all of these on. We're gonna need to, to uh, top them up with biofuel. There we go. Uh, now the, uh, th those guys up there, they should be going crazy. Let's take a look. <gasps> yes, power. Okay, from the wind turbines, we're getting 0.74 power. So we've got f four coming in. Now, each generator is providing one, right? So, uh, the, if we don't include the generators, uh, it's the, the, the base is generating on its own 1.02 power. Of that 1.02, 0 0.75 is from the wind turbines alone. Then, then a, the, a little bit from the solar panels, 0.26. But that is, uh, man, that this this power. Look at how quickly it's going up. That's really nice to see. I like that. Now, what we could do, because we're going to need a lot of mass, we could start turning on the fabricator, and then that should. Uh, yeah, out is is less than in. That's so so basically it's still going up slowly, but as long as the generators are running, this is in a kind of a nice slowly upward moving stable rate that is good. And we don't have so we don't have to think about it for a little while. And uh but we'll be getting mass out of this whole thing. So that's cool. I think we're in good shape. All right. Now, I think that's eh. Is that it for the uh Oh, <laughs> you need a whack. Uh, eh, you don't really need a whack, but you're going to get one anyways. All right, let's go inside. This is this weather is absolutely awful. Okay, now, this should all be good because nothing happens over there, but this does need help. Oh, this, this part of my base is cut off. So, how much am I... Man, I'm really burning through my boards. I don't like it because I, I don't like gathering wood. I, I've gotten uh, kind of curmudgeonly about gathering wood, and I'm, I'm not, I don't appreciate it. I think we're in reasonable shape here. Oh, 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 got, got jammed on my own animal housings. All right, let's go and take a look at the second level. How about you, door? You're fine. You're fine. Two hit points. I'm not worried about that. But you need a bit of help. You're f wow. The glass is good. That is nice to see. Beautiful. And I think we replaced you, so you're good. Three hit points. Ah, you know what? We're just—it's a bit wasteful, but that's okay. There we go. I think we're in reasonable condition. But no, that—that that three hit points. I'm not going to worry about. But I will get you. The external walls I worry about more because they do take a bit of a pun bit of punishment, right? They take the brunt of the the stuff. The inside stuff is much less it gets more like splash damage, so I don't worry so much about it. Okay. And I don't think I mean you these ones up here really don't get a lot of action. <laughs> but they still get damaged. You know what? What is the... what's... how about the roof? I don't check the roof often enough. And I am particularly... Uh, I should be mindful of this one here at the end and these guys. But they're fine. They're fine. How about you? You're at the end. You're okay. Glass is good. Again, with this nice... like with the... with the one half buffer in from the outside wall, it really does help quite a bit in keeping the, 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 the damage away from the, the sensitive squishy inner parts. Well, they're not squishy, they're shattery. <laughs> they think they're glass after all. I think we're good. I'm pretty sure I got, well, most of it. I'm sure that I've missed a few things, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. <clears throat> you know what, I wanna try something. 
Yeah, we're gonna try something. Actually... I have, uh... Yeah, 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 we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna grab a fuel brick, and I'm gonna, uh, put away my, my, uh, repair materials. Uh, you can go back in here, down there somewhere. Uh, that goes in here, and then, uh, boom, 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 and... Oh, right, and then... Oh, how's the, uh... Well, we've got the power, the mass we're working on. Um, as far as mass is concerned, it's been pointed out, out a few times. I do have a lot of potassium kicking around. Like, uh, I got lots and lots of potassium. That's not potassium, that's phosphate. We, we, we leave that alone. I have lots, and I never use this. Uh, so that's, that's plenty. I could really even recycle a bit of copper. I mean, I've got way more copper than I even thought I did. So, yeah, that's interesting. We're, we're doing pretty good with copper. But raw potassium, I don't use it enough, so I think we could do something with that too. Okay, now. It's cold. I need a bit of, uh, I need a liver. Just to keep, uh, yeah, reasonable levels. Okay. What is the plan? Ah, right! I need, uh, one of you. I need to make one of you. And then I need to make one of you. And we're going to do a bit of ice fishing. Because <laughs> the weather's terrible and it's a good day for ice fishing. Oh, I've got a match in here. You know what? I'm going to grab you. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, do I? No. Okay. And we're going to put that in there. We're going to light that bad boy up. And we're going to put that. We're going to have another match here. Actually, I'm going to grab your ash as well. Oh, I do have stuff that I need to do over there. Okay, um, let's just... I have... Uh, uh, by stuff, I mean... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, my axe is in... Well, we're going to use it anyways. We have to make a spare. Let's make a spare axe. Uh, weapons. There we go. Uh, the plants. I needed to do the potatoes. So let's get that done. And one of you, and then we can convert five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. And boop, 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 boop. there we go. Now, what is the potato situation in here? Twenty-three. Good. We didn't overflow. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to hold off on uh, turning on lights, and I'm going to grab you. And I'm going to move you out. Oh, I already have one right there. Oh, don't grab you. <laughs> Escape. There we go. So we're going to turn on this light out here. Ah, we got a little bit of sunlight. And we've got uh, a bit of warmth. And if I go over here, am I... Oh, 40 some odd percent. Okay, so we might be able to pull this off. It's like right outside my base, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> That's... Oh, I have to start again. Ah, crud. <laughs> I was hoping the axe would survive. But, no. I should have paid more attention. All right, and we can put, we can now swap you out and eat. <laughs> and then if I back up a little bit, see, I'm in the warmth. I've got 48% um, warm warmth from the, uh, the fire and I got uh, light from my light bulb and I've got a, a, a hole cut in the ice and I could do some fish. Yes. Oh, is that a big fish? I think that's a big fish. Come on. Oh, it's a pike! <gasps> nice! <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on, more big fish. I, when was the last time I caught a pike? I think it's been a bit of uh, been a while, actually. So that's kind of cool. Uh, not quite musky or muscalunge. <laughs> it's just a little pike. But, uh, you know, it'll be fine. All right, now. 
Come on, fishy, fishy. Oh, is it almost morning? I think it might almost be morning. I saw a change in the the uh, the lighting on my fishing line. Okay. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like uh, focus on the fish. You gotta think like a fish. Oh, what's going on? It's kind of cold out. Oh, oh, I took a bite and it's, it's fighting back. <laughs> That's another big fish. Oh, it's a catfish. Really? In the winter? <laughs> let's try. Oh, we gotta, let's see if we can get another big fish. This is like a super lucky fishing hole. Two big fish. That is, uh, that is something else. Um, let's see if we can get another one. We gotta think, again, we have to think like a fish. Oh, here I am on the bottom of a lake, frozen up there, and I'm feeling kind of peckish. Oh, what's that? There's a grub just floating there in the middle of the thing. Oh, I'm going to take a nibble. Oh, yeah. It, look at it. It's just floating right there, almost like it was being presented as some sort of a trap. But no, it can't be a trap. Look at it. It's just so delicious and tasty. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> it's delicious and tasty. <laughs> you know you want it. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of nutrients down here, what with the lake being frozen over and all. Can't get too picky. <laughs> uh, bite it. Oh, this is a little fish. Okay. Yeah, little fish. Our, our big fish streak is over. That's okay. A little perch. Well, there you go. A little bit of uh, a little bit of fun. Um, let's get some light happening in here. Uh, take a look at the uh, power situation. It's good. Mass is climbing. Um, oh, we've got fish on us too. Now, I don't have a lot of storage in my. Uh, you know, let's eat that. You know what? Let's um. Okay, let's process these guys. So we've got four white fish fillets, fillets. And then I'm going to harvest the oil from that one. And uh, that would go, like, right there. And actually, you know what we could do? No. If I was to cook three of them, I would overflow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take four, uh, three of you, actually, for now. We're just going to burn these. Yeah. Oh, actually. No, we could. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think of that. One, two, three. We could burn the uh, three more out in the, uh, we have a fire going out here. Let's take advantage of it. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See? Uh, Santa, oh no. <laughs> I'm bringing all uh, good cheer to all the neighborhood's uh, uh, rogues and hunters. Uh, they appreciate it. I've, I've been told. I've been told that they are very appreciative of my attention. And, uh, you know, they like it when I come by and visit them. All right, now. Uh, so we took care of the plants. Well, we do need to take care of actually, uh, here, let's get some more light happening in here. Uh, let's do, we don't have to worry about water anymore, but we do need to fertilize. Oh, I've got, oh, the ash, by the way, yeah. Ash does not, um, recycle well uh, for mass. It's, it's very bad. Uh, we could, I could even show you. I think, I don't know if I've done this uh, recently or not. Um, here, let's do it this way. Uh, let's put um, you, you, and you, and you back. And then let's take, uh, let's take about 20. I think it's 20. Is it 20? Yeah, 20, uh, 20 ash is one mass. So it really is not a great source of uh, mass. So I, I wouldn't even bother with it. Okay, now. Um, oh, what the heck? Let's, uh, let's recycle potassium. There we go. <laughs> now, oh, look at that. We've just got, oh, it, just about enough to make one BCU. Oh, what's the neighborhood like? Remarkably devoid. Oh no, there's rogues right there. Okay, we do have rogues. They're up the up the river. So, uh, okay, cool. 
Oh, you know, when I... Oh, man, it's so noisy. When I go into the map and then I come back down like that, it uh, really does reset the, the the audio level for the... These guys really... Loud. Okay. Um, right. Let's make one BCU cracker. Uh, we need uh, six of you. We need ten of you. We need uh, 40 of you. Actually, no. Half. There we go. And... Well, let's just do this, and then we could put back 15. Technically, we don't... We could we could just grab whole stacks, and then we'll only use what we need, but... Eh. There we go. All right. It's... This is... It's been a while. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Look at that. Santa's workshop. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. Okay. Got a BCU cracker. Look at that. So right now, we could take this to any one of the three bases, and we could obliterate it. We could wipe that base off the map. Now we, gotta need, we need to make two more of them. So... Very cool. One BCU down. Uh, two to go. And it is the next morning already. <laughs> These guys are like, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm just taking care of the neighbors. Yeah. I'm like, look, I'm wearing a hat. I'm, I'm Santa Claus. Santa Ono. I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to be bringing um, holiday cheer. To the to all the neighbors, you, you, they'll love it. I guarantee you. Okay, now <clears throat> we got burninating out here. There we go. All right, Trogdor has been uh, has been here, and he's burninated all the meats because we need all the mass. There we go. And I mean, we could probably burn three more. Yeah. Three more. What's our eleven? Okay, we're not quite there yet as far as uh, as um, making biofuel, but that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna keep this running. We could probably top up the biofuel. Like that. There we go. And uh, we still have. 429 biofuels, so we're doing good. In fact, what I might do... Here, let's let's convert another stack of uh, uh, plants. Uh, medicinal plants to uh, biofuel. This is why I don't do this very often. <clears throat> it takes forever. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, I converted all of them. Like, literally all of them. Okay, no. Let's not do that. Let's leave... Um, 99. A stack of 99. I think that's reasonable. One full stack. You have to... I think you use it to make uh, ooh, tomato soup, for example. It uses medicinal plants, so... Eh. Do I have some... I've got some down here for that anyways. Oh. What are we doing in the next one? <clears throat> we need crystal. I think what we need to do is we need to work on uh, our plan to get crystal. I think we need to do a base, uh, like a cave run. Now, I'm not going to be... We're, we're not going to do like a lava cave run. This is going to be a quick run to the caves to get... Um, just to get a bunch of crystal for making uh, BCU crackers. Uh, we have... Yeah, we're going to need to make uh, uh, some oxygen tanks. So, all right. Well, I think we got our plan. Uh, in the next one, we're going to... Well, we if, if we don't do a, a cave run, we're going to at least plan for a cave run. We'll maybe try to pull off a cave run. Uh, but we need to make some, some tanks. We need to keep progressing, making BCU crackers. Um, I'm hope... The reason why I'm pushing so hard for the BCU crackers right now is because I don't know what if the BCU cracker recipe is going to change. If they're going to all of a sudden become significantly harder to make. So if I can make them before the 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 uh, experimental gets released, then I'll be happier. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.